tell you to be there tonight. Bring your Bible with you. He's a preacher and teacher of the Word of God. So bring your Bible with you. But I can't wait to hear this tonight. I want to have my Bible, my pen, my journal, and my ears to hear. Ready tonight. Starts at 6 o'clock. And then uh, let me just mention, if you didn't hear it, those of you that Kimberly and I have never met, 5 o'clock in the restaurant, please come over there. We're going to give you some good information. But we also will be there, Kimberly and I, to come and to greet you and to meet you. So happy to do it. Okay. You have a Bible? Hold it up right now. And even if you don't say this with us, ready to go. This is my Bible. It is God speaking to me. I am who it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. So I open my mouth today to hear God speak the word that will change my life forever. If you have a Bible, open up the two places that you would. John 15, of course, because God teaches us, Jesus is teaching us. Turn to John 15 right now, but also... Psalm 34, and hold your place in the And we're going to begin in chapter 15. Now, just before we read John 15, when we hold up our Bibles and we say, This is my Bible, it's God speaking to me, that's not just for adults, that's for everybody. And so we've been teaching our kids for a long time. In fact, it's not only we at church that are teaching our kids at kids' church, but we parents <laughs> the Bible and the kids of God speaking up. Well, a few weeks back, Kimberly and I received uh, from one of the moms that we've known here with a young child, two years old, that uh, she was doing the Bible declaration, and I thought, you need to hear this. You need to hear this. So I want to play nice and loudly here. This is Abigail Palacio. 